Yeah, what was uh, kind of the process like to, you know, kind of go through what you did and then just ramp up to get ready to play tonight? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, uh, I was on the couch like a week, yeah. uh, unfortunately. Uh, one day we'll do a lot of movements, you know. Obviously, I don't want to come back. And, you know, I want to give myself a couple, just, I don't know, a day and a half of just working out to try to get a little whip rhythm up and down a little bit. But, I mean, I felt good, you know. Didn't play really well, but. Uh, felt good. Went felt good. All right. Feel just a little rusty with the floater and things that yeah. you usually have in. Shots I hit in my sleep. Can I go short today? But you know, we trust the work. We trust the work. So ain't nothing. Uh, you know, get to uh, get to down. Yeah. In general, how do you feel walking out of this in terms of like, I mean, in it the whole game and it just like oh, you generated a lot of good shots for everyone. Yeah. It just the one happening tonight. Yeah. I mean, coming off back to back. You know, obviously there's no excuses. You know, they played really well. Uh, I thought we defended well. Uh, they got some second chance points at the, you know, the second half. Mr. Robinson, and obviously he's a handful. Uh, I, I didn't even, I'm just looking at that. I didn't even know he finished with 70 pounds. Good for him. But, uh, yeah, on the back-to-back, uh, I like the composure that we kept throughout the game. Uh, we didn't let go of the road. We kept fighting. Uh, I mean, you give us – you know, you give us those kind of shots every game. I think we put, we put ourselves in a good position to be successful. Unfortunately, they just didn't, uh, they just didn't fall tonight. You have to credit, uh, I guess you have to credit the Knicks. Um, what do you think, just as a veteran, watching Jaden McDaniels, a young guy, play defense the way that he does against bigs, against smalls, just the way that he is able to to be so versatile? I mean, he's been doing it all year. You know, and, you know, when I first got here, the thing I didn't know about him, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't back down from any, any challenge. You know, whether it's a guard, you know, whether it's a big guy, he doesn't talk a lot. But uh, you know, he's one of those guys that walked up, let his game speak for himself. He's been he's been playing extremely well for like the last, I don't know, fifteen. I think he you know, he was dealing with like a cold in the beginning, you know, came back kinda of slow, but after that, you know, uh he's been he's 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 been playing his ass on well, and we need that. Every every team talks about next man up mentality, but this team has really shown it uh, these past few games. What is it about this group where no matter who's on the court, the competitiveness and everything really does not drop off? I think you got to give credit to the coach, you know, more than anything. Uh, that's all coaching. Obviously, you know, you, you know, you wish you were healthy. You wish you had all your best players out there, you know. Uh, but in this business, you know, we all know the healthiest team wins. But, uh, you know, to have, you know, damn near, damn near starting five, you know, uh, out, you know, some, 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 some you know, TP, Nas, and even some coaches, you know, out. And uh, for Finchie to go out there and kind of, you know, him and his coaching staff kind of put a game plan together to put us in a position to be successful, you know, not just now, but just, you know, throughout the whole season. I think you got to give Finchie a lot of credit for sure. You don't really deserve any? No, no, zero. I just do what I'm supposed to. I just do what I'm paid to do, you know. But uh, it's all Finchie, though. Finchie's, you know, now I, I, I know him in the past. And he's he's a hell of a coach, like hell of a coach. You know, his ATOs, his his mindset, you know, how he conducts practice, how he, uh, you know, very detailed man, his professionalism. I'm just, you know, I preach to these guys every day that, uh, you know, fortunate to have a coach like that for sure. It's pretty clear, but like watching you last night, how much you love this. Um, what did it mean to be able to get back, even on the sidelines last night, playing tonight after having to be away from the team for a week here? No, nah, man, it was hard. You know, I couldn't touch, you know, couldn't touch ball for a week, could run, you know. I don't take it out of here. You know, basketball is like my drug, you know. That's something that I need, you know. So, uh, you know, just being away from the game, I think I fucking watched 10 of our games. You know, I try to get better from an IQ standpoint, things I saw, you know. Uh, but, yeah, it was tough. And tough being around, you know, not being around the guys, too. So, uh, but, man, they've been, you know, due to the guys, how they've been playing their ass off. You know, they went in Utah, competed, uh, you know, came up short, but competed, obviously, yesterday. Played their ass off, got to win against Boston. Same thing tonight, we just, you know, we just miss out. So, uh, you know, none of the hang our hat down. The illness affects everybody differently. Return to play, I'm sure it'll be different for everybody, but you've got a lot of teammates who are about to do what you've done now. Any piece of advice you're going to give them as they try to work back into action here? Shoot the ball every time you get it. That's <laughs> not the only way you can knock off some rust, just keep squeezing. And, uh, you know, like we say, like I always tell everybody, you know, whether if it's falling now, you just trust the work, put enough work there, I think you can. Hey, talk about Chris Finch, and I'm curious how much you feel the things he instilled in training camp. This seems playing a lot different than it did a season ago when he took over. The, the schematic changes. How much do you feel 
that choosing those styles of play entering the season has contributed to the areas that you guys have had success this year? I think when it when it comes to when it comes to the game of basketball, I think the most detailed, uh, most professional uh, team is always in a position to be successful. You might not win it all, you know, obviously health and all those issues, but when it comes to detail and professionalism, he's up there with the, with, with the top of it. And I've, and I've, I've been coached, you know, uh, Kevin McHale, Dan Tony, Doc Rivers, T. Lou. Like I've, I've, I've had great coaches. He's right up there. Very detailed, very, very, very detailed, man. Very professional. Uh, he doesn't disrespect the game when it comes to practicing. Uh, one voice when he speaks, you know, uh, you kind of appreciate that nowadays from, uh, from coaches because, you know, coaches don't have a lot of control due to it's a player's league. But, uh, you know, when you speak, everyone listens. Uh, it puts us in, in, in a position no matter what, who's out there to be successful every night. Let us play with a lot of freedom. Uh, you know, like I keep telling those guys, man, you, you guys lucky to run into a coach like this because you don't a lot. So you got to give them a lot of credit for our, for our early success for sure. Right, you said you watched 10 games while you were away. Yeah. Did you learn anything new about this team that can help you guys moving forward? No, I just, I just, you know, kind of, kind of found areas where, you know, I could, you know, I can input my, you know, put myself more in the game. See, I can get Cat going early, you know, D-Lo. But, you know, for me, you know, I watch the game. It's mostly about defense, how we can get better in that end. Because, you know, this is a make or miss league. But when it comes to defense, you know, that's the winning game. So, you know, I was just kind of, you know, watching it from, a, you know, a defensive, you know, how my defensive lens is on. You know, learned a lot about the team. What among all the young guys you talk to, do you feel like this is most like a sponge? It's really just sucking up everything you say and just really understanding the value of the information at this young and of an age. I'd say, uh, I mean, it's not a hell of a rookies, you know. Shea Gilders Alexander, you know, great, great rookies. I mean, this, you know, but this cast right here, you know, everyone wants to get better. Uh, I mean, I can, I can say Nate Knight, I can say Ant, you know. I can say bees, you know, I can say Jaden, I can say Jaden, you know, but you know, I, if I get the name, I damn near say the whole team, you know? Uh, but again, that's what comes with, you know, that's what helps us be successful. You no, know, everyone wants to learn. Everyone wants to speed up the process of, you know, getting a high IQ players and, and learning from them. So I just try to give them everything I got, the ins and out from the basketball game. And, you know, hopefully they, you know, implement it in their game. We'll see a guy like Greg Monroe. Uh, is it cool to see a guy like Greg? Yeah, man. Like yeah, you need you need especially you need a guy like that in your locker room, especially from the from the center position. To kind of you know continue guys, you know continue to show guys how to be pro, how to work with your game, how to stay consistent at it. And it was a great, he's a great pickup. I mean, I hope I hope he's uh you know I'm a you know we get my vote for staying in you know throughout the whole year, but I hope he uh you know he spends a lot more time for sure. Good for him too. Though. He still got that offensive skill set. No, nah, I mean he's a high IQ basketball player. It comes with uh. He's played a lot of minutes, played a lot of games, so that comes with it, you know. We'll go last question in Chris Ross on the Zoom. Hey, Patrick. Welcome back, first of all. Uh, what did you see on the growth of players like uh, Jalen, like uh, Nate Knight, and what would you like to maintain on team's game after that game against the Knicks? Um, before I got here, uh, I, you know, I, didn't, I, I knew nothing of Nate Knight uh, when I got here. And uh, I seen the way he practiced. I seen the way he prepared himself. So always is in the gym. Uh, it's physicality. So it doesn't surprise me that he plays well, you know, when uh, guys are out. Um, a little about Jalen. Uh, didn't know a lot coming into training camp. But, uh, you know, I, my thing for him is go get six men of the year. Uh, I've been around a lot of, you know, obviously, Lou Will, Montrez, Eric, Eric Gordon, you know, my career, a lot of, a lot of six man, you know, for the past you know, four or five years, and, and he can really put that thing in the hole. So, uh, you know, we expect him to be him every night. Uh, we expect him not to turn down any shots and continue to be aggressive because we're gonna need it all when it comes to players for sure. Thank you guys. Thank you.